it going YouTube? My name's Blake Yarbrough and welcome back to episode two of my 365 day wear test on the Tom Sachs general purpose shoe. Guys, this has been an awesome experience so far. We're closing in right around 60 days and so far the shoes have held up amazingly. I've put them through quite the test so far. They've got a lot of staining already happening on them. A lot of paint cracking on the upper. We've got some mud here on the heel. This was a super fun episode to shoot guys. We hiked, we climbed a mountain, we rode jet skis, went to a Braves game. This was a super fun episode. Each episode will be completely different and unique. I'm looking forward to the upcoming content for you guys. If you like this, make sure you smash a like down below. I appreciate you guys. Subscribe to follow along. We're also doing monthly sneaker giveaways, but let's go ahead and jump into some of the content, some of the things I did over the last 30 days. What's up guys? Day 25 of my 365 day wear test on the Tom Sachs. We're here at the Braves game. I grabbed a pack of peanuts. We're headed to the seats. If you guys haven't seen 2J's content on eating peanuts at baseball games, you need to check it out. But we're going to do the 2J's peanut challenge today. Let's head to the seats. Back in the day. Day 37 of the Tom Sachs wear test series. The shoes have been performing great. They're really breaking in nicely. Haven't done anything too crazy in them yet. We have been going to a few Braves games here, there. Went to the weekend concert. Absolutely amazing show, the weekend legend. But we're headed over to Full Circle right now, one of my favorite stores in Atlanta, for a sneaker pop-up event being put on by ATATF and an upcoming sneaker event kick cella which if you haven't seen me post about it there's an upcoming sneaker event here in atlanta called kick cella september 18th and we're going to the first pop-up event atatf asked me to host the event at full circle super stoked for this there's going to be more pop-ups coming with the dates being announced just hours or days before the actual pop-up so the first one is today from two to three at full circle we're headed there now i'm excited We are here at the pop-up. I'm getting warmed up because I'm not gonna let you guys beat me. So we're getting warmed up, trying to make some shots, but the pop-up starts here in just a few minutes. We've been playing some basketball challenges. I've won a few of the step back challenges, but I've been getting crushed in knockouts. So we're probably gonna play a few more games. We'll get some shots in there. It's a lot of fun. Uh, hopefully you guys were able to make it out. If not, be sure to pay attention for the upcoming pop-ups. What's up guys? Day 38 of wear testing. I guess it's after midnight. So technically it's day 39, but on my way home, long day. Thought, you know what? I'm gonna get some McDonald's. Shouldn't do it but I'm gonna do it. Ended up getting ketchup on my shoes. No idea, I think it dripped off a fry. 
but got ketchup on the shoes. Uh, I'm honestly just gonna wipe it off and kind of just let it dry. I'm not gonna do too much cleaning, but ketchup on the shoes, day 38. Okay, I know I said I wasn't going to be cleaning these shoes during the wear test series, but I think the exception is something like this, ketchup, uh, drink, maybe ice cream. I'm sure I'm going to spill ice cream on these at some point, but I think that is the exception. So I just used a wet paper towel to go ahead and kind of wipe off what I could get. Didn't go too crazy, not trying to make them perfect or anything, but yeah. Catch up, day 38. Good morning, guys. It is day 40 of the Tom Sachs wear test series. Super excited for today because this is like the first like big activity that we're doing in the sneakers, really testing the limits, hopefully. And we're gonna be hiking. So first we're going to hike the world's largest exposed piece of granite. World's largest right here in Georgia, Stone Mountain. And then we're going to hike to a waterfall up in North Georgia. And if everything goes well and we don't die before we get to the end of the day, we're going to in the day at Lake Lanier. So I'm super excited. How do you think it's gonna go? I mean, I think it's gonna be pretty fun. We got a lot of stuff planned today, so it should be an interesting day. I haven't hiked Stone Mountain in a few years. I've done it plenty of times, but I haven't done it in several years for sure. And I also haven't hiked to a waterfall in a while. So I'm excited because I like doing outdoor activities. We are right here at the entrance of the park. Go ahead and get some stretching in before we hike up this mountain. What's up guys? We are here at the base of the mountain. It's a one mile hike. I think it's gonna take us maybe about an hour roughly. Not really sure, cause I haven't done this in so long. Got the GoPro up here to film my point of view of climbing 1,686 feet high and only about a third of the mountain is actually exposed. So most of it's underground. This is super cool. I grew up in this area and loved hiking this with my aunt when I was younger. So we're gonna go ahead, get started and take you guys along. It's a little tougher than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I, I'm sweating more than I thought I would. Sweat, I'm sweating for sure. We lucked out, it's only like, is it even 80 degrees? It's probably like oh, 80. It's probably like just now 80. We lucked out, cause I've definitely climbed this when it is scorching hot and it's miserable. So, so far the weather's holding out, no rain or anything like that. And uh, I think we're like halfway to the top. So let's keep going. So you guys know, Blake is doing the general purpose shoe wear test. I'm in the Nija. SBs. I don't know if these are the best hiking shoes, but they're working out good so far. Maybe the grip? Maybe you've got like decent grip on yeah, the rock? they don't slip at all. This is a pretty sick view though. Once we get to the top, depending on the cloud coverage, you'll be able to see Atlanta. I think we're like halfway up. And once we get to the top, it gets much, much more steep.
little jog. Let's get your boy winded. Right, guys we have made it to the top we cooled down for a while because honestly i was gassed by the time we got up here perseverance got the perseverance tom sack shirt on this is such a fun hike i haven't done it in years like i haven't done it in probably four or five years so it's good to get up here really nice weather today nick hasn't really done this at from what do you remember? So I think that's pretty sick. What do you think about the view? I think the view is awesome. So I've been here like a hundred times as a kid for the laser yeah. show, yeah, but I've never seen crazy. it from the top. So it's pretty cool. I like it. It is really cool. The visibility today isn't amazing, but you can still see like downtown, midtown and Buckhead. It almost doesn't even matter with how fresh the air is. Yeah, no, I mean, today is, we couldn't have picked a better day to probably do this especially because it's in August. And uh, I'm glad we went ahead and got this out of the way. Next is the waterfall. And then definitely I'm going to enjoy the lake because I, that was a, that pretty much wore me out a little bit. Okay, we're headed down the mountain and look at this view. Like I know Nick's gotten a lot of good shots, but this just looks absolutely amazing. Time to head to the waterfall. What's up y'all? We are here at Amicalola Falls. This is stop number two on this hiking adventure that we're on today. This is super exciting because I can't remember ever coming here. Maybe as a kid, Nick's more familiar with this area up here. So I'm super excited to hike this. We're gonna hike to the top of the waterfall. And this is gonna be maybe a little bit trickier with these shoes. I feel like Stone Mountain was all pretty dry. It was really just granite rock that we're walking up. This, you've got dirt, you've got mud, you've got water. Could get a little bit crazy here. So we're gonna go ahead. We're at the bottom of the waterfall and we're gonna hike up to the top. Yo, I've never seen a bear in person and it would be insane, insane to see one today. All right, had a little slippage, a little slippage on that one. It'll focus on the filming, so these shoes. Shoes are dirty, guys. Shoes are dirty. All right, so far I've taken a few spills on the rocks. The algae is slick, which I know that, but it's gotten me a couple times already. So the grip on wet surfaces, not very good. All right, a little out of breath, but I think we're about to see the waterfall for the first time. Yo, wow. All the way. This looks awesome. And look, we got right here. 
175 steps, difficulty strenuous. All right, we made it up the first 175 steps. And it was a challenge, but we made it, no problem. Now we're on the next set of steps. How many was it? 400 and... 425. 425, look at 600 this. 600 stairs all together. You can't even see how far this goes. We're going, it's gonna be above the trees. But my body, like, it looks like I've been swimming. Uh, all right, we are done with the waterfall. What'd you think? That was sick. I'm glad you liked it because I was like wondering if you were gonna like think this was a cool spot, but it's definitely cool. It was definitely cool. Yeah, this was definitely cool. I don't think I've ever climbed to that waterfall. I've definitely been to a couple other ones, but I don't think I've ever climbed to that one. And honestly, the steps were killer. 175 and then 425. So 600 up, 600 down after we already hiked Stone Mountain. Like my legs are worked right now, worked. But I need to put my seatbelt on and we're headed to the lake for the more fun part of the day. Oh yeah, we're about to hit some rips on some crazy sea -dos. I'm excited for this. Nick has crazy sea -dos and they're so much fun to ride. Nick and Hunter, so shout out to uh, Hunter for letting me we ride may, his sea -dos. We might hit a little rope swing, a little uh, rock jump, and also yeah, yeah, like yeah, a private yeah. island. There's a cool little private island. Yeah, so this is gonna be a fun part of the video for sure. I'm still, still going to be wearing my Tom Sachs. Still, still, still. 
But yeah, let's go to the lake. Also want to add in about the grip at the waterfall. The grip was not very good when it came to the outsoles. Any algae or water made these shoes very slick. Whereas on Stone Mountain, the grip was great. So maybe in a dry surface, really good. In a wet or slippery surface, not very good when it comes to these. Now let's freaking go have some fun on these sea views. This is gonna be sick. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. This is gonna be the most fun we've had all day. No more hiking. Yeah, no more hiking. My legs are, my legs are dead. Completely freaking wore out. So this is gonna be fun. Ride around the lake some, get some food, and then uh, maybe find a rope swing or something. How else would you ride it? absolutely soaked. We just pulled up to Twisted Ore. This is the full-on wear test. I will say, the entire day, probably I think one of the things they did best on this shoe is the lacing. These laces do not come untied, does not matter what you're doing. They absolutely killed it on the lacing system. Shout out to Twisted Ore. They have some of the best food. They have some of the best pizza for a place that you would never expect to have pizza. It is an insane pizza spot. I'm not even gonna lie. Insane pizza. Very good pizza, Twisted Ore. We also had queso with jalapenos and ground beef. Ground beef. And then the fried ravioli with mozzarella inside was, I know it's like bar food, but it was so good. It was so good. Yeah, I mean, did we just eat like really healthy food? No, not at all. Zero. No. Like, no, nah, we didn't. But was it good? Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, sunset's looking crazy already. And uh, we're gonna go try to have a little bit of fun, rip these sea a little bit more. And uh, yep, that'll cap off the video. It's been fun.
Okay, we couldn't find the rope swing or a tall enough rock to jump off of to make it exciting. So we're going to race. This is one of my favorite things to do on these sea is, is race when the water is really nice and smooth. So we'll get a race here. Let me know who you think is going to win. Drop your vote down below. But we've got Nick over here. Let's, uh, let's line them up. These things launch like pretty hard. So you got to kind of position your feet. All right. Three, two, one. Definitely had a better better start to me on that one. Maybe we'll run it back one more time. Now he's just showing off. You got me on that one. They said run it back. He's already ready to race. Three, two, one. That was a good race. I think Nick got me. He got me on the weight mod. For sure. Nice race. All right, guys, that is going to wrap it up for this episode of the wear test series. I think today was so much fun and this whole episode was a lot of fun. Everything we did, drop a comment down below if you have a suggestion. I've been doing that on Instagram as well. But if you have a suggestion on what I should do in these shoes, drop that down below. Nick, how do you think it went? I mean, I think it was definitely a fire day. Today was so much fun. I'm like literally so exhausted. I don't even know what to say. I'm so tired right now. Yeah, I'm, I know tomorrow, I know tomorrow my legs are going to be sore, but it was a lot of fun and uh, stay tuned for the next episode. What's up guys? Day 47 of the Tom Sachs Wear Test Series. We are here in Washington, D.C. Travis Lowe's that I did the video on. This is Nick's pair. We've still got the pink laces in them. Been getting a lot of attention on the pink laces. Nobody's doing that. Everybody has these on feet. Honestly, there's a table with a whole size run of these shoes, but nobody has the pink laces. Pretty surprised on that. But we're out here. Thank you to SneakerCon for bringing us out. First of all, I love SneakerCon. This event has been insane. A huge, huge turnout. Vendors really went crazy for this one. And this is what I wanted to do is to wear these shoes in this type of environment standing on concrete for seven plus hours straight both days yesterday was day one this is day two and honestly my feet feel completely fine this is a very comfortable shoe great for all day wear so shout out to sneaker con for bringing us out we've been trying to make some trades on these we found a few options for nick nick's looking for like a hype sb like a green bear maybe something older like a baby bear or like a stussy cherry dunk something older something that is of equal value or kind of within the range of this sneaker so let's take a walk around the show see what we can find if we find a good trade it makes sense then we're gonna go ahead and trade these out i think project blitz might be interested in doing a trade as well so But with that guys, this has been an awesome sneaker con event. DC was crazy for sure. Dennis Rodman showed up, that was amazing. And I know there's a few other shows coming up. One being Salt Lake City, maybe I'll be at that one. Not 100% sure yet, but this has been an awesome show. We're basically at 50 days in the Wear Test series. Stay tuned for the next episode.